ladies and gentlemen, my name is Taima Faith and I'm from Bamenda, Cameroon. And I'm here today to emphasize on the fact that drinking water should remain public in Cameroon. Considering the fact that water makes up 75% of the world's space, it is a right that everybody should have access to water and clean water as a fact. So, um, this young girl, I grew up in a community where tap water, or portable water was meant purposely for drinking. And any other thing, you will be punished. If you do any other thing with water, you will be punished for it. And this was because water was first of all scarce. And when it happens to flow, the bills are very high. So we ended up, we ended up using, excuse me, we ended up using well water and stream water to pay to cook, which is not supposed to be the case because waterborne diseases are not only transmitted through water that we drink, but the one that touches our skin because we have pores on our skin. So I'm emphasizing on the fact that water should remain public. Now, privatization occurred in Cameroon between the year 2000 to the year 2018, and we learned from this experience because. During that period, various organizations were taking over the distribution of water, and the effects have not been good. Now, the Cameroon government did this, thinking that they could lighten up responsibility, but in the end, it had led to high bills, um, mismanagement of funds, lack of transparency. And we see that these private firms are out for profit, and they're not out for the benefit of the Cameroonian people. These private firms, um, they are not interested in the rural areas. They are interested in the urban areas where the population is high. And so they don't really have the interest of the people at heart. And that is why they can produce anything for people to consume. Because there is little or no follow up. Now, we discovered that in the world today, there are 1,700 cases of remunicipalization that have been successful in countries like France, in countries like Tanzania, in countries like Aust Australia. These countries discovered at a certain point in time that remunicipalization is the key and it is, the, it is a tool for economic development. And that is why they adopted remunicipalization. And Cameroon should not be an exception. Now, <coughs> yeah, Cameroon should not be an exception. Remunicipalization would help the transparency, it would help in the development and in the production of suitable water. Private firms are not futuristic, but the government knows what its people want, and it is futuristic, and it is going to help its people to become better. And Puka, après avoir dit tout cela, qu'est-ce qu'on doit faire? D'abord, le gouvernement doit d'abord accepter que accepter les effets de privatisation sur le sur la population camerounaise. And so, in 2018, the president of the Republic of Cameroon has denounced the privatization and the Kamwata has been created. And the Kamwata has been created with the objective to distribute water in the urban urban and semi-urban. We ask the question, what will happen with the rural areas? Donc, c'est si nous fait à penser que il y a il y a des, des il y a la possibilité de rentrer à la privatisation dans la future. Et c'est cela, c'est pour cela que nous tenons ici pour dire que la privatisation n'est pas à notre bénéfice. Donc, le gouvernement doit euh, euh, encourager la ré, doit encourager la remunicipalisation. The law. Albert Einstein says that we cannot keep doing the same thing over and over again and expect different results. Cameroon has been um, privatizing water for years and the results have been stagnant. So why not try to do something else? And how can we do this? By educating youth, by bringing up, raising up entrepreneurs that can go and research into that field and come up with possible and durable solutions to better 
the water um, provision in Cameroon. By so doing, we'll be raising the next generation to know the importance of water and to carry out scientific research to better water. We also, it is not just the responsibility of the government, but it's the responsibility of every Cameroonian to ensure that water is re-municipalized. We have to play our role. We have to bring ideas. We have to stand together and make this happen like it happens in France, like it happens in Tanzania, like it happens in every other country, it can happen in Cameroon. So I will leave you with this saying. La vie est très court de bois du vin um, de, de bois du vin café. Life is too short to drink spoiled wine. Thank you.